Hello, my co-op friends. Happy New Year. I hope that you had a wonderful holiday. And I just want to tell you how excited I am to begin this journey of crafting with you again into the new year. So thank you for being here. Um, today, we are going to make uh, Q-tip snowflakes. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to notice that we have that black paper with two snowflakes on it. And you're going to pick which one you want to start first. So I think I'm going to start this one over here on my left. And I am going to start right at one point. I mean, first, I'm going to open my glue. <laughs> and I'm going to make one line going straight. Oops. It's not coming out very straight. I'm going to make one long line for this first one. Because I think I'm going to use one long Q-tip right here. And now I have to use half Q-tips. So I have some already pre-cut. You will notice yours in your kit. You have some pre-cut as well. And it's always a good idea to add your glue on opposite sides of each other. So I'm making this point and then I will make this point for a total of six points. So now what I need to do is I need to use the cut pieces. And I think what I'm going to do is I have some over here that are that are cut and some that are not cut. But the size that I want, they are not cut yet. <laughs> Don't worry, yours will be. You have to use this tool here to cut them, see? It makes them sort of the same size. Okay, now I'm going to add my half piece there and my other half piece on the opposite side. Then I'm going to just fill each point that way. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have our six points on our on our first snowflake. See? Now there's more details in the snowflake and you are welcome to get as creative with it as you'd like. I am just going to add a dot and just do the tips of a Q-tip in those spots. Now I know I said that it's good, a good idea to go opposite sides, but in this case, I'm not going to do that for these points. I'm just going to make dots going all the way around. And I'm going to use these pointed Q-tips here, like that, in each of those spots. And it's just the ends of the Q-tips cut. The puffier side. Now, you will notice if it glue gets on your fingers, then stuff starts to stick to it. And it makes it a little bit harder to do your project easily. So, try not to get too much glue on your fingers, because it'll make it a little bit more challenging. <laughs> All right. There's the first one. See? There it is. I'm going to do the second one. And I'm going to do it basically the same way. But this time I'm only going to, I'm not going to do one long one in the, in the first one. I'm just going to do the points. And I'm going to use a little bit smaller size Q-tip points. So I'm just doing it, the whole thing. You could do one at a time, or you can do the whole thing. Whoops, I got it in, in this strange spot. Okay, so now what I will do is I'm going to get these points here. Oops. But they're just straight points and they're going to go over the paper, the white paper below it, the template. And I'm just going to do it all the way. Like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. See how it's larger than the picture below it? That's okay to do. Now I'm going to again add some of those little points, but I'm going to do them out on the black. I'm just going to go way out here and do it because I think it will look so pretty. So 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it like that, and I'm gonna have the point sticking outward, and the puffier side facing inward. Another one. Put it right here. And there's our first two snowflakes. <laughs> That's it for now. All right, my friends. I look forward to sharing another project with you momentarily. Okay, bye.